Hey, I'm back in Ohio. It's the first video I've made since I've been back here. Um, my brother's back there. My dad's sleeping on the chair. I've been really intimidated about watching some of these video responses from people because I feel like I've been putting myself out. I've been really opening up about a lot of stuff and people have been there's been a lot of venom coming at me and it's hard uh, we had a roast tonight for my friend Connor who's getting married I I told Rebecca uh, a few days ago that sometimes I feel like I'm just putting this all on. There's so many people. Every person has something, has some pain. So what I like, I, just, I can't, you can't take it all on, you know. You can't take everybody's pain on. I don't think. I guess we can do anything. I'm really overwhelmed about a lot of things. I've been thinking about this. I've been thinking about making videos. I've been thinking about Michelle, who makes good points and has very informative things about the medical marijuana card because there's more to it than just the identification card that I have. There's more of a process to get an actual card, too. And I'll fall, I'm going to get, go through the entire process. I, it's like, I don't even want to talk about, like, what, what am I trying to explain? Who am I trying to explain it to? I'm satisfied with myself in many ways. I had this thought that maybe humanity would get to a point where we clone each other rather than have sex with each other to reproduce. Because sex is so aggressive. It's like we're attacking ourselves to reproduce and we can do that with technology. Not that sex is bad or anything, but... It was just a thought. couldn't, I chose not to make fun of Connor at the roast. Everybody was t making fun of everybody, laughing. I was laughing hard, but when I went up, I just was honest. And it was great. It was... It, it was good. It's been so good to be back here so far. I've been hanging out with my friends and my family and really being honest with them about things. And it's just, I mean, it's not weird. It's who I, you know, it's not like I'm some crazy guy. So you see a lot of, you must think it's weird because you see me talk for eight minutes straight and you don't get to respond so you don't pissed off. But like, this is just, it's normal. I'm normal. As, as normal goes. This is... Like, what do you do? What do you do when you feel overwhelmed? A lot of people are dying. Loss is painful. It's so hard when people get so angry. 
And this feels like whenever, when I open up about my past or about something that I'm afraid to open up about, that's when the people get angry. Like they didn't, like it didn't sit well with them that I just did that. But that's why, that's why I am where I am. What I'm doing, what I'm doing, is it's all about opening up. And someone told me that if you're honest all the time, you'll be homeless. What does that mean? Does that mean that you lie? Does it mean you're just not honest all the time? You just don't say everything you're thinking? Probably. This is just the method I use to say what I'm thinking. I like putting on a video camera so I can listen to it and critique myself and learn from the video that I did and see what I think is ignorant what I think isn't and uh, grow and change as a person. Dude, there's pictures of me up everywhere at this house and both my brothers and on the screensaver on the computer and on the refrigerator pictures of me from when I'm a kid but the people here are very receptive to who I am so I'm gonna keep uh, it's almost 1 a.m. Eastern right now which is 10 p.m. Pacific, and we have a bachelor party tomorrow. I think it's going to start around noon, and it's just an all-day huge thing. I just, I guess, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop this right now. It's late. I'm not very animated, maybe because it's so late. But I, I want to, I want you to know what I know. I want you to know my family and my friends so maybe I'll maybe I'll make videos with people that'd be interesting okay I'll see you I'll see you later please don't be angry at me don't don't be when you get angry if you get angry it's not me that you're angry at even if you're focused on me and yelling at me, 